A few weeks later, I got permission from the INS to interview Farouk. I was really excited to be finally getting a first-hand story from one of the thousands of people my government had tried to disappear. My name is Farouk Abdelmati. I am from Palestine. Now I passed six months and my lawyers fighting for my rights. You have people here in the INS uh, for years. The INS is coming to be an instrument, the negative instrument, it's the ugly face of the American uh, society. This campaign against the Arab, Muslim, and South Asian people is the same time repeat the history of the 1943 against the Japanese Americans. And we have to stop these things, you know. We have to go to talk about the balance and criterion of right and truth. It felt like Farouk was more in touch with my roots than I was. I really don't like to talk about it, but I think I, I there are things that you can't you can't forget. We were there three and a half years. I feel I lost those years. I can't do anything about it. But a lot of times when some things come up, it reminds me. Exigent times call for very strenuous reaction. But what about the argument that when we look back at what happened to Pearl Harbor and the Japanese Americans, um, you know, everyone agrees that it was wrong. Who agrees? Who agrees? Do you think there's a limit to how long he can hold up in there? Everything and everyone has a limit to their threshold. And that isn't just people like you and me you know, or my dad, but that also includes the government. So it's basically a battle of wills.